Hi, everybody. I'm here in the beautiful city of Krakow, Krakow, Poland. Hi everybody, I'm here in Krakow, Poland, such a beautiful city, it's the second biggest city in Poland. And every year they have a great festival here, a great jazz festival. I'm playing um, three nights here this week. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And uh, with fantastic musicians from Poland. And uh, during the day I have uh, some free time. And that's why I decided to, uh, well, go live and show you something of the city. I like to do that. People keep asking me about more travel vlogs and stories, so I decided to uh, to do that. And here I'm in downtown, in the old center of Krakow, which is also a UNESCO heritage site. I must say, it is really beautiful. It has a lot of resemblance with Prague. You know, and also here, there's no lack of tourism, but it's not as bad as Prague. Well, Prague is really insane. So, uh, yeah. But, and the vibe is really very nice here. Good food. And the jazz life here is absolutely fantastic. Every night, there are a couple of clubs. Brazilian clubs here, actually. Great, great live music every night so yeah it's uh, really cool The weather is not so good. They had a heat wave here last week. It was plus 37. But, um, now it's quite chilly actually. It's like 17, 18 degrees. But it's going, but it will, it will get, it will to start rising again from tomorrow onwards. This is, uh, yeah. But again, what I really like about this city is I love Prague, but and I go there pretty often because it's, let's say, family reasons. But the tourism there is insane, it's really insane. It's like Amsterdam or Barcelona, and here it's still doable. That's one of the reasons I really love this place. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Let me be your guide here. <laughs> Thank you. 
and I'll show you. Here's like a whole stretch of jazz clubs and what's really nice about the jazz clubs here. There's jazz like every night here, all year round and great bands, very high quality musicians. Of course, from Poland, but also international. And all these con concerts take place like really in cellars, like down. It's really cool. Red balls everywhere. Okay, it's life. to the gates you'll find a lot of jazz clubs here it's really great uh, and I'm also playing there and these are really nice clubs with good pianos everything really you know really international people play here so uh, yeah, great vibes this city history here this is also the um, there's a lot of Jewish um, history here like Oskar Schindler the guy who owned the factory and sold so many Jews in the concentration camp by the way Auschwitz is like 60 kilometers from here Auschwitz Birkenau I went there once it was actually crazy because I had a, a tour no, no, no. I was playing at the, at the same festival a couple of years ago. And then the festival organizers actually organized a sightseeing trip to Auschwitz for the musicians, for the, for the artists at the jazz festival. And I thought, I'm not going to do this. But that bus was waiting there. And I thought, well, you know, I don't come here every day. So I just jumped on the bus and then we went to Auschwitz. And there was a guide there who was was chilling, chilling, chilling the stories, and so impressive. It was I, something I never forget. It was so it impacted me so much, and uh, I do I wouldn't say I'm glad I went there. That would be a little bit strange to say, but at least, well, it was an experience, and. Um, yeah, so there was a lot of Jewish history here. There's a great Jewish quarter. Try to, to uh, do some footage from there as well. And, uh, 
So Oscar Schindler, who saved uh, many Jewish people from the gas chambers, he, um, he had a factory just outside of the city here. This is also, of course, the famous movie by Steven Spielberg, Schindler's List, based on the history here. And in fact, also a lot of, um, uh, this movie was partly, of course, also shot in this city. Very impressive movie in black and white. Maybe a little bit less interesting, but in a couple of moments, will be some other beautiful churches and stuff. <laughs> like this, you can just get a, an idea about the vibe here. And of course, if you happen to know people, friends weapon to visit the city please tell them that I'm I'll be performing here in the next days Wednesday Thursday Friday so, uh, playing with, again with fantastic musicians from Poland great rhythm section very cool guys too young guys I don't say I'm that old but I do realize I'm from another generation, which is great because uh, it makes life easier and it's great to also work and play with young musicians who have different views. I think the young generation is so inspiring. Everywhere. I'm not exaggerating if I say like every two, three street corners is a McDonald's, especially of course downtown. It's a big city, eh, Krakow. It's the second city in Poland. It's like 800,000 people live here, so Warsaw, it's really uh, it's huge. Much bigger than you would expect. travel business although with all the experience with traveling I could start a traveling agency there's so many countries book a zillion tickets I know most of the tricks but if you ever want to if you've never been here and you want a great alternative to Prague should also a much cheaper alternative because Prague is also expensive now in the city Krakow is really great direct flights from everywhere let me not talk about yesterday what happened because we have in this to date there was a huge problem at Schiphol Airport, Amsterdam Airport, lack of staff after the pandemic and the waiting times are four or five hours. It's ridiculous. That's why I decided to book a ticket from Eindhoven yesterday, which is the second city in or well, the second largest airport in the Netherlands. Um, but also there, I arrived there four hours before the flight and I barely made the flight. Crazy cues. I, I'm, I'm usually okay with flying. I kind of like it still. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not so, uh, you know, I still think it's an incredible thing to do. You know, flying through the sky and arrive somewhere. But now it's really not, not fun. 
you know, I, if, on shorter, I mean, this city is too far, but I would really take a train now. And, and I have a lot of traveling coming up, actually in the fall, many countries, also outside of Europe. So then I will have to travel from Schiphol Airport. So I really, 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 really hope that um, this, this crazy thing at the airport will be solved. Thank you. My Polish is not what it used to be. It's another beautiful sight here. Yeah, there's so much to see here. Also, um, I read that the city, because Poland, unfortunately, Warsaw was heavily hit in the war, World War II. It's totally bombed and destroyed. And um, here, um, the city was not bombed. So uh, everything you see is still kind of original, which is great. So a really nice thing about Poland is that they have been really great with uh, Ukrainian refugees. No restrictions, everybody can come here. So actually you hear a lot of Ukrainian here. For those of you who just tuned in, I mean, Krakow, Poland, the second largest city after Warsaw. Wonderful place. There are tourists, of course, but it's not as crazy as Prague or Amsterdam. <laughs> I actually avoid the center of Amsterdam now. I grew up in Amsterdam, I love my city, but this tourism is really insane. I'm a tourist, well, I'm partly a tourist because I'm playing here for three days from Wednesday until Friday, three days. With fantastic Polish musicians during the yearly Krakow Jazz Festival. So if you happen to be in the neighborhood and know someone who's going to be here, just let them know. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, guys. Wow. That was dangerous. I just decided to switch on my phone and share some, this beautiful city. Great vibe here. Very affordable. Although I must say, after Holland, everything is affordable in Europe, except for Switzerland and Norway. But other than that, uh, it's getting way out of hand.
Subside here. Okay, I'm going to stop this live stream, I'm close to the hotel, I'm going to relax a little bit and then uh, tonight I'm free, but uh, tomorrow, Thursday and Friday I'll be playing three concerts here and there's a lot going on in town, a lot of great music, so I'll go and relax a little bit and then afterwards I'm going to uh, explore the music scene here. Thanks for watching, have a great day wherever you are.